Hi there, today I'm going to show you um, some videos about uh, thesis theme. I've posted already uh, why thesis is best your WordPress theme on the internet and the most popular one, even um, Google staff from web spam, Matt Katz, has thesis as his theme on his blog and I'm going to show you why I should uh, I choose thesis as the best SEO WordPress theme. So um, this is actually my blog which use uh, thesis theme and if I uh, click on uh, no follow links you see I have no follow links here uh, which is right uh, marked in my website and those are no follow links. So first is a uh, feed. Feed in your site should be no follow. Why? Because feed contains your uh, content or excerpts that means those uh, content on your feed are the same on your uh, sites that mean and the feed should not be uh, followed so this is why this is a, a first step that this is is um, optimized so the feed itself is a no follow link so and comment it also mark as no follow because comment should be no followed you see there are no follows and read the full article should be no follow as well so that's on the home page and now we go to uh, uh, the post page itself you see now we have uh, this title is clickable so that means uh, it has a link and I almost forget that um, the date and the author name should be no follow as well so if your theme has this uh, as followed you can actually uh, set it in your back end or with robots uh, .txt. so this is why this is come in handy because you don't need to um, play around with your robot.txt because it uh, this author name and the date itself is already uh, not clickable means it had it doesn't have link and it doesn't tell Google to follow that link so uh, we're going to click that title So you see now, I cannot click that title anymore. See, this title is unclickable. This um, this factor makes a thesis um, SEO optimized because that title should not be clickable because this title is already on the page where the post is. If that um, post clickable, then that post will land to the same page as well. And that will make Google very confused because if I click from the home page, it will land to this page. And if I click to that title, it will land on the same page. So that should be unclickable. Your title in your post uh, page should be unclickable. Same with the author and the date. And the second one is tag. You see now, if I'm going to click uh, to um, uh, highlight, no follow links, tags also no follow. Um, commenter and the date of the commenter and reply and reply uh, whenever reply to comment should be uh, no follow as well so that's uh, why it is uh, SEO optimized so now we go back to um, our back end so this is our uh, front end that it is SEO optimized and now we're going to um, SEO uh, to the designed um, view so I'm using a default theme uh, default uh, setting of thesis now in a demo site we go to back end and uh, you see now I have uh, two sidebar this is what I love about thesis site option now you can see that navigation menu and homepage SEO you can put your title here and descriptions and keywords and put uh, no index this page or no follow or no archive so you have a lot of controls here and design option this is my favorite actually so design option this is this one is my favorite by default it gives you three columns you see content and two sidebar those are three columns and uh, for example, you are bored with that two columns, so you want to change to two columns. It means content and sidebar. So now we're going to save that button and hit refresh. What happened? And it has one column. Let's say you you want that sidebar uh, 
uh, size a little bit bigger so you're going to increase it notice that it has to be from 60 until 500 pixel I'm going to add for example 200 pixel and save now we refresh it you see now it's increasing so the design option is really wonderful and column order for example at the moment I have uh, my sidebar on the right side and if I want to change to the left side I'm going just to hit save and change it let's see what happened my sidebar is on the left this is very nice uh, if you want to change the order one day you feel bored and you just click on that uh, few buttons and you will have that um, uh, things change as you like you see you have a lot of options you can play around with it and I'm, of course I'm not going to explain one by one but you can play around with them and header image this is if you want to upload logo you don't have to add some code and and um, link that code to that image you just going to hit browse and upload them and fave icon uploader this is the small icon on the browser you can upload from this side browse and upload as well and custom file editor this is my favorite as well if you are um, like me you want to change this and that by uh, coding yourself you're going to choose here so you can choose com custom underscore functions dot php and custom dot css without ruining your um, uh, core files original files so this is what i love about this is. and next is manage option for example, you don't like the whole modification you have made, you can just hit restore all options or design option or just restore the site option. So that actually is uh, very handy if you use thesis. You can uh, co customize yourself and um, make everything nice and so forth. Um, the reason why I don't choose a logo because uh, I want to speed up my site so I noticed that having images, a lot of images, um, it's going to slow down your site if you don't have um, CDN or, or fast uh, hosting. So uh, I hope it's going to be a little bit helpful for you to know thesis on big end and, and front end why I'm choosing it as a bell theme. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video. Goodbye.